Welcome back to Easy Friday. Tell us where you're watching from. The hashtag is Easy Friday at Shiksha Aurora at KBC Channel 1. You can definitely get tweeting and let us know where you are tonight. Right, moving on to the live broadcast. When nine suspects accused of supplying condemned brown sugar from a go-down in Fika have been charged with various offences ranging from stealing to abuse of office. The nine denied the charges and were released on a 400,000 shilling cash bail. Separately, two managers at Brown Cheese Company in Intigoni, accused of forcefully undressing female workers, will spend the weekend behind bars. More details in the Scales of Justice segment with Alvin Kaunda. Limuru Principal Magistrate Jared Maguli ordered the Quality Assurance and Human Resource Manager at Brown Cheese Company to be detained until Monday 2 p.m. The magistrate is expected to give direction on a request by the investigating officer to have the duo Vivian Okamakoko and Lydia Opondo detained for 10 days to complete investigations. The duo accused of forcing female employees to undress after a used sanitary towel was found in a bin. You wanted 14, somebody cancelled and replaced it with 7. In your evidence before this court, you want 10. So the court, how many days do you want? I wanted Nobody 10, knows. but I'm also under the instructions of, of the ODPP. Separately, nine suspects accused of stealing and supplying condemned brown sugar intended to be used as a raw material in a consolidated charge sheet the nine were charged with, among others, stealing, conspiracy to commit a felony, interference of goods subject to customs control, and being in possession of restricted goods. Condemned brown sugar intended to be used as a raw material for distillation of industrial ethanol valued at 20 million and 64,000 Kenya shillings, the property of Kenya Revenue Authority. Meanwhile, Two suspects were arraigned at Narok Low Court's case of defrauding 101,300 shillings through SIM swap fraud in Mulot. The duo were found with 11 Safaricom SIM cards, 12 Airtel SIM cards, 2 Telecom SIM cards, 12 Kenyan identity cards and several phones. The magistrate ordered the suspects to remain in police custody for 14 days to allow the DCI to complete the investigations. The case will be mentioned on 20th July this year. During the arrest at Tongatorongai, 11 Safaricom lines, 12 of Airtel lines, 2 Telecom lines, and 4 Kenya national identity cards, and several phones were recovered from the respondents.